Hey, how's it going, YouTube? My name is Rich, or Raidway. Hopefully, you guys are having a fantastic day. What I got for you guys today is another Black Ops 3 video. Now, in this video, I'm going to be showing off the Diamond Assault Rifles that I recently just obtained in Black Ops 3. So, if you guys do enjoy this kind of showcase video, then definitely drop a like, guys. 70 likes is going to be the goal of today's video, and you guys have literally been smashing that like button. Since Black Ops 3 has been out, you guys have seriously shown so much support, and I just cannot thank you guys enough. We're literally, I think, like, under 20 subscribers away from 5,000, which is absolutely nuts. So, if you guys really want to support the channel then definitely drop a like even if you want to leave a dislike just for you know god knows why you know if you, if you don't like the video then leave a dislike all the feedback I don't care what kind of feedback it is just any feedback would really really help the channel but with that being said guys let's just jump right into the video so first off you're going to be seeing the diamond KN44 or the ARC 7. What it, it was called the ARC in the beta, now it's called the KN. I'm not really completely sure what's going on here, but this gun absolutely looks amazing. Now, I kind of wanted to also made a little bit quick commentary with this video just to tell you guys, like, just some tips on how to get diamond a little bit faster. So, definitely the first tip, of course, the headshot challenges are the first things to do. Now, for headshots, I definitely recommend free for all. One reason being is because free for all is only eight players in the lobby. So, you're not going to have teammates, your, your kind of teammates, in your way, kind of, you know, stealing your kills. It's just you. You're your own person you're kind of like a lone wolf in free for all and that's going to make headshots a lot faster also if you guys are familiar with the free for all spawns uh, you know for past call of duties you, you kind of just learn the spawns of free for all but if you just you just kind of learn the free for all spawns and uh, from past call of duty so i was kind of familiar with it so if you know the spawns then you can definitely kind of you know just wait for someone to spawn just kind of know the area and just kind of already aim for that headshot also guys i definitely recommend using kind of like a site for the headshots um just because you know the iron sights on some guns are just really bad so definitely use a red dot site or the elo site and here is also the HVK diamond, which is absolutely nuts. And then also, you guys just need, you know, five attachments, no attachments, uh, double kills, the bloodthirsties, and I believe the uh, submachine guns have the revenge medals, and the uh, saw rifles have the long shots. Now, for long shots, I definitely recommend the map uh, Fringe. I think the and the other map, I think, is Exodus or something like that. I think it might be Exodus. I'm not completely sure, but Fringe is a fantastic map because there has it has uh, one like long range, uh, kind of you know long sight. Uh, you can literally you know sit and across the map and just kind of wait for someone to be there. So Fringe is a great map just to try and get long shots and by the way here is the icr uh but yeah that's literally the only tip i can give you guys just you know wait for fringe and that's like the basically the only map i played to get long shots for these guns now if you're going for the 50 kills with no attachments and the five attachments definitely play nuketown guys that's going to be a big tip just because nuketown is the smallest map in the game and you can probably get those kills really really quickly if you're just kind of you know playing hard point or just playing nuketown really close quarter map and by the way here is the man of war uh, which looks absolutely awesome as well but definitely play nuketown for those 50 kills with no attachments and 50 kills with uh, five attachments. And now for the bloodthirsty guys, I, I really can't give you that much tips for bloodthirsties. I mean, you just got to get five kills in a row. Um, if you want to, definitely play, play, you know, defensive. That's kind of the only tip I can give you. Is just play defensive. That's going to help a lot. Uh, don't play stupidly. Don't go into a room without checking. You know, just play a little bit defensive. Uh, kind of play a little bit passive, and uh, you guys will be 100%. For those bloodthirsties and also for the revenge metal kills for the submachine guns pretty much the only tip i can give you guys is just literally play the game and hopefully you get a revenge medal i mean i don't think you can really time a revenge medal like i guess you can look in the kill feed to see who killed you just kind of play the game and hopefully you get to lucky with these kind of revenge medals but that's at least some tips for you guys just to obtain the camos and of course obtain the diamond camo the diamond camo looks absolutely amazing on the assault rifles and of course i have a series road to diamond submachine guns on my youtube channel so i cannot wait to earn the diamond camo on the submachine guns but if you guys did enjoy today's video then definitely drop a like guys 70 likes would absolutely make my day it really shows that you guys are supporting the channel and gets the content out there and also if you guys are brand new definitely subscribe to the channel 5,000 subscribers is right around the corner i cannot wait and hope you guys had a great day and i'll see you guys of course on another video